Welcome back, everybody, to round three of four. Uh, we've got a pretty exciting one here for you right now. Uh, Victor Kerr is trying to redeem himself from his embarrassing performance last week. It wasn't on embarrassing. Greg's embarrassing. <laughs> Playing against nice. RJ Stanfield's Heartless Summoning deck. Uh, spelled Heartless wrong there, but as uh, my wonderful Heart co host, please. the glorious Taylor Gunn, said before we went on air. We're going to be summoning Heartless. I told him, like, Ansem, and he didn't get it. I don't get it. Is it a video game reference to a game I perhaps haven't played yet? Oh, yeah, it 100% is. Oh, perfect. So, one huge problem I have with my two immediate like, <laughs> best friends is that like they consume very different media than I do. Yeah. And so they make these references like, I mean... Like, you guys have both played through Kingdom Hearts, I'm sure, and I just have never done that. It's a Kingdom Hearts reference. Is it a Kingdom Hearts reference? Yeah. 100%. Okay, I I was in the dark on that. Yep. Uh, and so I, you know, no, no clue. You should play through it. Play through some Kingdom Hearts. Do we, Man have, up. do we have the system that it's on at our house? It's on, like, every system by now. Well, I got the Wii U, so... Except that one. Yeah, no, literally nothing's on the Wii U. None of the, none of the, uh, none of the. I like, won't hear any more disrespect for Bayonetta two. Oh, Bayonetta two is fantastic. Um, it kind of makes me want to hook up my Wii U so you'll play it because it's super fun to look at. It's a fun game. Uh, <clears throat> it looks like RJ is going down to six here. Victor's uh, kept his. Victor's kept his seven. I don't think he's going to show us what's in his hand. Because um, we critiqued them last time, but I did see a thought seize and an inquisition there. Yeah, we are we are running out of uh, oh people that are willing to be on camera. RJ Stanfield has one of my favorite cards of all time in his hand. We're gonna get to see it here. Here we go. The bitter ordeal. We're gonna have to pull that one up. So we got a Manamorphose, two bitter ordeals, and a heartless summoning. And a very nice swamp. Yeah, it's a good swamp. I like that swamp art a lot. Not my favorite, mind you. All right, let's find out what this bitter ordeal does. Here's the John bitter Douglas's ordeal. John Douglas' favorite cards costs two and a black. It's yeah. a sorcery. Search target player's library for a card and... Remove that card from the game. Then that player shuffles his or her library. And it has Gravestorm. Yep. So when you play the spell, you copy it for each permanent to put into a graveyard this turn. You can choose new targets for the copies. So normally you hate cards like this. Yes. Why is this one good? Um, A. A. It can get... Listen, Mega Man. It can get different named cards. It can hit multiple opponents. Okay. Um, you can create, like, combos that make it go infinite and just exile everybody's deck. Um, you can do it with, like, a finite number, but, like, a, a large number. Yeah. And just tear apart somebody's deck. Okay. I should specify that this is, like, one of my favorite cards for Commander. Oh, it's a Commander card. Yeah. So you only get one card with each copy. Correct. But if you get to, like... 12 to 15 in Commander, I'm assuming, is a good number. You can really put a hurting on somebody's deck so they can't really win yeah. the game. So if you're playing your deck, you have a, at least a way of removing an infinite number of these cards. <coughs> um, and RJ has an infinite number or, or a way of removing infinite cards as well. So you can name lands. Yeah. You wouldn't really want to, but you can. Well, no, I mean, if you're going to have an infinite number of copies, you're going to eventually have to name a basic land. You don't name it. You just go in there and pull it out. Oh, you don't have to name the card before you go looking? No, no, you just go in and take it out. All right. All right. Victor has eliminated the threat of the bitter ordeal, though, as well as anything else that RJ had going on. Yeah. Uh, swamps and a metamorphos are what RJ's looking at here. Not ideal oh Victor please cast this thought season get the manamorphose here is a mere superior 
combo with a Manamorphose in his hand. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can't... No, it doesn't. That's the one that can only be cast by mana made by creatures. Oh. I thought it was the one that you can't use mana from lands, period. How about a hard cast Street Wraith? Yeah. What are you going to do about that, Victor? What nice now? Fatal Push. Nice Lightning Bolt. This is a three-turn clock now. Yeah. Um, We're going to get a Blood Crypt. So Victor's got a lot of cards in hand. Um, we've seen the cards. It's like Fatal Push. Oh, he's going to lie about uh, the Blood Crypt. Thoughtseize. And I believe another land. He is not prepared for this Street Wraith. He is on the back foot here. So this Mirror Superior becomes free if you have a Heartless Summoning on the board? Correct. So that's the... The one play... Did you, did you notice any kind of... Uh, man, Victor's really going to town. Well, he doesn't want to draw land off of this Serum Vision. He needs like something to deal with this Street Wraith. <clears throat> and he doesn't really have anything now. Or he needs like something to erase the Street Wraith right now. I'm guessing there's about two Terminates in his deck that can... That is not one of them. But we'll get to look at two more cards. Snapcaster and a land. And he's going to act like he's thinking about this, but he really, neither of those cards helps him out either. So I imagine they're going to the bottom. Straight to the bottom. I guess he's got Thought uh, Scour. So he could Thought Scour himself to see if this, to try and like get fuel for this Snapcaster Mage to maybe hit a Terminate. But I can't imagine. That's a reasonable play. Because you're going to need to attack him at some point. Is that a reasonable line? That's a reasonable line. Part of me, there's like a small little baby part. <laughs> a small little inkling. <laughs> that Please don't talk about your small baby <laughs> part anymore. <laughs> that uh, what's the draw here? I believe it's a grape shot. That... Makes me hope this Street Wraith goes all the way. He, if he draws a mountain next turn, he gets to attack for three. Grape shot. Land Metamorphose, Metamorphose Grape Shot. <laughs> grape Shot off the top. Here's a mountain. Oh, off there's the, top. the mountain. Okay, so he targets RJ. Draws a Stubborn Nile. That's not going to do anything. No. No, this is... Stubborn Nile's not very good. We're going to have to main phase this Snapcaster, hoping to draw into a Terminate off of our Serum Visions, I'm guessing. I so can't. Snapcaster. Yep. Cast the Serum Visions. Draws a card, another Snapcaster <laughs> no, made. Not a Terminate. Jeez. Looks at two cards. If neither of these are terminate, you just had the bottom bottom, right? Yeah, you need an answer to the Street Wraith right now. You got Colgan's Command. Colgan's Command does not do it. Correct. If you had Colgan's Command Snapcaster and eight mana, he could do it? Sure. But that isn't the case here. Nope. All right, Terminate Mana showing. Face Beater, Triple Sevens. Thanks for the follow. Wow. Face Beater, 777. All right, here's a draw. Is that an Altar of the Brood? Man, I'm so into this. <laughs> Swings for three. Part of, I Victor just, down to two. I just can't. I can't be even. Victor be mad down at to one. Guy. Victor to one. So any mountain is just the game. Any mountain is the game. Victor can't cast the thought seas to take the grape shot. Correct. So the race is on. 
Alright, here's Napcaster, Thought Scour, Target, Me. Oh, and Opt. Oh, he's opting. So this lets him look at two cards. So you got the Scry 1. This is a total binary decision. So this, this card either kills the Street Wraith or not. I mean, it could be a Serum Visions. I guess Serum Visions doesn't help much. No, Serum Visions, you have to draw the card. The card has to wind up in your hand. Another Coligan's Command. Um, Another one. A Bolt. Coligan's Command or a Bolt does it. Oh, Assuming he already has a Coligan's Command. I don't think he has it. I don't think he has an answer. He's just scooping him up. Man, Street Wraith Street going Wraith. the distance. The distance. Three attacks. He was one mountain away from just going off with the storm. Look at the stone cold killer that RJ is here. No <laughs> he reaction on his face. Stone cold. I love it. Man, that's fantastic. He's like, me and my Street Wraith, we are going all we're the way going, to the yeah, we're gonna bank mess today. You up. I, I want to see what this deck does. Yeah, he clearly, he was on a mold of five, so he didn't get to play his deck. We know what the deck does, Spider Monkey. You can stop flashing your little messages. Come on. Anyway, wanna... <laughs> he's on a mold of five. We know what the deck is supposed to do. Okay. Um, I want to see him go off. I think I think he deserves it after that one. Oh, yeah. He definitely deserves it. I mean, that's a... A lot of people were building their own, you know, combo deck that's kind of... I mean, this deck's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. uh, Might have just been real stubborn about it. Been like, I'm cycling this bad boy. I need to go off. Yeah, no, but, but he no, made he, the call. He, He's like, you know what? This <laughs> thing is going the distance. This is, you know, I he he did he, he did the right thing. Here's the real question. Yeah. Does Victor bring it in the third Terminator? <laughs> <laughs> the question is, does he take out his fatal pushes? Yep. So fatal push doesn't really do anything. Like no. he kills Mirror Superior, and it kills Mirror Retriever. Well, you want Mirror Retriever to die. No, only if you have other Mirror Retrievers. In the yard. You see what I'm saying? Like it doesn't yeah. matter if a Mirror Retriever dies. Cause you want it in the yard anyway to get sure. back a Mirror Retriever. And most of the time, well, I won't say most of the time, but in an ideal world, you're casting Mirror Retrievers for free when you already have a Heartless Summoning anyway. So, it doesn't really interact. In a world. Um, it does hit Mir Superion, which is relevant. Right. So, that could be a thing. Um, Shout out to Mir Superion being the, uh, that was the promo card for that game day. Yeah, the full art. <laughs> what was the last time you saw one of those? A full art Mir Superion? Yeah. Last time I went through some dealer sp <laughs> spotter monkey, come on. Yeah, me too, Spider Monkey. I have a Promos Cube, you butthead. Yeah, people playing Street Wraith are dead wrong. You cast it, you beat face, everybody's playing Swamps. Yeah, people are messing Just it up. Just get in there. Uh, but yeah, last time I... Victor's stretching it out, man. He is concerned. He is concerned. He's like, I don't know what just happened, <laughs> but I know it hurt. Um... He's he's gonna feel embarrassed. He loses to Heartless Summoning Deck. He's preoccupied with. I don't think he'll feel embarrassed. I think he's <laughs> preoccupied with the nasty things I'm saying about him right now. <laughs> it's not. You you really do need to be more charitable. I do not. <laughs> okay. There's gonna come a day when nobody will sit for our matches. That will not happen. All right. All right, so we have <clears throat> a Simeon Spirit Guide in hand. Uh, Is Simeon Spirit Guide. I don't. Do we see any land? Is that a swamp? That's a swamp. Okay. So, so we have Simeon Spirit Guide, Street Swamp, Wraith. Street Wraith, uh, Manamorphos. All right. I think there was a Blood Moon there. RJ admits that this hand is a little sketchy. Oh, okay. So. Victor going to six. Coligan's command. Not the greatest here. Um, Thoughtseize is decent. Yeah, Thoughtseize is a good card against this. Uh, Thoughtseize could really pick this hand apart if he takes the Simeon Spirit Guide and RG just stumbles on land. Right. Yeah, I wonder what his mana base does look like. We didn't see any red lands come up. 
He milled a mountain. He milled a mountain, and uh, but I imagine you would have to have. I don't know if there's a reason to play exclusively basics. Well, he's got Blood Moon now. I don't know if it's main. Swamp, Metamorphos, Heartless Summoning, Mirror Retriever, Blood Moon. Blood Moon's a big deal against this deck, yes? Um, not the biggest. It will be if he gets to cast it on turn one, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah, if he... If he or if Victor doesn't have, like, a fetch land in hand for his turn two play. Yes. So he's got basic swamp because I don't. Some of these Grixis Shadow decks don't play a full set of like basics for each color. Well, they typically play uh, two swamps and one island. Okay. <laughs> Big Bear suggests Victor takes the Street Wraith, saying what we're all thinking. Uh, wisely, I think, taking the Heartless Summoning, although you could be a gambling man and take that Simeon Spirit Guide as well. I would have no problem with that. Right. I want RJ to rip another Simeon Spirit Guide and just turn one this Blood Moon. There's another a land, that's, that's good. So I got the Street Wraith, see what's up. Oh, and there's... We've got perfect mana. Yeah, Montagna, yep. So we're going to turn two this, ma this uh, Blood Moon. Yeah, there's no point in turn wanting anything here. Oh, nope. What are we turn wanting? He's going to be happy with... Manamorphos. Draw a card. Just another, another land. land. Yep. And here's a mere superior... Or a mere retriever. Not as impressive as a turn to Blood Moon, but... It'll do. Yeah, especially when Victor knows that the Blood Moon is coming, giving him a chance oh, to... Oh, jeez. So this Steam Vents tells me that while he knows it's coming, he doesn't have any fetches. Right. But he's going to have one more draw at, at having another fetch land. <clears throat> That's true. RJ swinging in for one on the Mirror Retriever. And RJ's at 18 after cycling that Street Wraith. I know how much you like this deck, Spider Monkey, but you can't just give him random amounts of life. All right, so another land. Here he is. So, so we see where if if he would have played that Blood Moon, Victor would have been shut out of blue. Yeah. Whereas now he's gonna play it. Victor's gonna go find this island. He have all three of his colors on on line. Is oh, he's just gonna he's just gonna push. Maybe he's just afraid of a of a counterspell. Well, Victor does have a stubborn and island hand. Yep. It's a non non creature spell, right? Stubborn and Isle? I believe so, yeah. So maybe RJ's just got the soul read and he's gonna play this Blood Moon on four. Victor with the untapped watery grave. Yeah, he hasn't been too. All right. And then we're gonna thought seize. Take your blood moon. Yeah, this isn't uh... a second mirror retriever. It's pretty good. It's two pieces. Of the puzzle. So you're going to play this Mirror Retriever because you're, you're happy to block with it. Yeah. Let's see if Victor tries to kill them both with his Culligan's Command. Because that would be let's amusing. Put, let's put up Mirror Retriever on the board. It's, it's a card that potentially all of our viewers haven't seen yet. Um, I don't have a deck list for it, but I'm sure if we asked RJ, he would provide it to us so um, stay tuned for round four and we'll try to get it in between rounds here it is uh, dies it's one one for two when it dies return another target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand so if multiple die at the same time you can target each other yes Victor 
Popping a fetch, going to eight. Oh, he's got a Tassiger in hand. Yeah, this uh, this mirror retriever synergy is going to yield him an infinite number of blockers. Yeah. He'll be able to block one creature every turn. As long as he's not forced to discard any of them. Yes. Drawn a lot of lands here. That's not ideal. Would have been a very different game if, uh, if we had that turn two Blood Moon. Very much so. Oh, and Victor drawing the namesake Death Shadow. Swings for four. Yeah, we'll block. There's a block. And here's a 5-5 five, five Death Shadow. Coming down. So what's RJ got to do here? He's probably got to... Needs to draw a Heartless Summoning and a Grape Shot in that order. Or a Heartless Summoning and Bitter Ordeal. Oh, sure. Yeah, Heartless Summoning and a Storm card. Yeah. Or a Grave Storm card. <laughs> True. That card has Grave Storm. Little unique one there from Future Sight. They printed all kinds of messed up cards in that set. Alright, so we're going to block the 5-5. Five, five, take 4. And then a retriever back a retriever. Yep. Lots of retrieving going on. Another mountain. This is not good. At some point, RG needs to stop playing out his lands. It will force Victor to spend some mana on discard. Yeah. Because you're not going to play out the Heartless Summoning from your hand until you draw the Storm Spell. And you're not going to play the Storm Spell until you get the Heartless Summoning. So it's very reasonable to assume that RJ is, like, sandbagging one piece of the combo. Okay. If I'm Victor here, I'm probably going to Colgan's Command and blow up the Mirror Retriever and um, deal him two. So he end of turn is a Snapcaster. Maybe. That lets you attack for nine when he's at 12 and put him to three. And so he's dead to either creature right. on the next turn. Yeah, this fetch is pretty irrelevant. I guess he could do it this turn. And he gets the extra two damage from the Snapcaster Mage. Right. But I don't know that it actually speeds the clock up at all. Yeah. Oh, so the fetch putting him at five is very relevant, because that gives him lethal. Oh man, so he's going to go to three. Deal the two to himself? <laughs> Deal the two to himself instead of dealing the two to RJ, just for the style points. Just for, Well, it, it's actually, if RJ had a lightning bolt, yeah. uh, it would have been hilarious. I'm not hilarious. It would have been good. Victor I getting caught styling would have been pretty good. <laughs> I would have laughed hysterically and then gone out and left in front of Victor. Not at him, but just stood in front of him and continued laughing. I agree that that is not a pro play drawing all those lands. Um, I think when you stand in front of somebody and laugh at something they did, that's called laughing at them. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Then I would laugh at him for doing <laughs> that. Then I correct myself. I would absolutely laugh at him. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, but be, be, styling is not uh, not where you want to be playing against the weirdo. Heart I got a question deck. here. What do you think about Harsh Mentor against Death Shadow decks? Harsh Mentor against Death Shadow decks. What are my activated abilities? Tassiger. Tassiger. Fetches. 
Oh man, they take three on fetches with a harsh mentor play. Um, um straight wraith, I believe. It is an activated ability. I don't know how harsh mentor is worded. Uh, you get it. You get cycles in standard, so I'm assuming it cycles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I never considered that. I'm wondering if if Eidolon should be replaced with harsh mentor. No. It damages you less. Correct, but I mean, it, it's only against Death Shadow, which is kind of all right. So we have a heartless summon multiple in our lands and a. Okay, we're throwing this one back. Apparently, I didn't see multiple lands in there. I saw at least a swamp. I assume there was some behind. Um, but we had the Blood Moon. So I'm sure this Heartless Summoning deck, the way he's built it with these Simeon Spirit Guides, has some like turn two action or something. There we go. This is awesome. This hand's great. Keep this hand. Some like like go nuts turn two draws. Yeah, put it on the bottom. That's fine. He's got Swamp, Mountain, Heartless Summoning, Mere Superion. Yeah. And two Street Wraiths. I don't know that I would. Well, I guess you can cycle these Street Wraiths now. Yeah, find out what If what you get a doing, Simeon right? Spirit Guide. Yeah, you it's get awesome. it off. There's Manamorphos. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I don't I don't understand the role of Manamorphos in the deck either. I think it might just be a cantrip. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was right to cycle the street race because this way he gets to uh, the Thoughtseize. He, he was trying to avoid the Thoughtseize. Okay. So wouldn't keeping the street race in hand help you avoid the Thoughtseize better? Because no, they represent the, the unknowns. The Heartless Summoning is there. Yeah. And so you're more likely to draw a Simeon Spirit Guide than a Heartless Summoning. Oh, sure. A bitter ordeal. Yep. So Manamorphos. All right, running out a mirror retriever. Interesting. Big Bear says he had two harsh mentors out against Death Shadow and they could not fetch for a third lane because it would deal them five. Yeah. That's a lot. Five's quite a bit. You playing that in a burn deck, Big Bear? Big Bear burn? I would assume so. Man, can you can you post your burn list calling it Big Bear Burn? Do Big it. Bear Burn deck. The Big Bear Burn deck. Only you can prevent for man. That's a better name for it. Only you can prevent forest fires. I don't think you want to prevent forest fires in a burn deck, though. I think you want to cause them. Oh. Oh. Thought scour. Target him. Target I him was in his humans deck. We only saw one card, and he's going to draw it next turn, so we don't need to make a big deal out of it. Maybe I'm too quick to try and solve those kind of problems myself. But yeah. at this rules enforcement level, I just like I'm just like, oh, you saw one card, you're gonna draw it next turn anyway. Right. I'm tapped out right now. I can't imagine the card that makes you change your decision about not responding to anything. Yeah, it could be a blocking decision, I guess. Um I'll make sure Scott knows that there should be a swamp on the bottom because he scried a swamp to the bottom. Yep. So when this type of infraction happens, uh, it's basically just a force shuffle at this rule of enforcement. Uh, but they always ask if you know the location of any cards because they don't want to change that. And uh, because he mulliganed and then scryed his swamp to the bottom, we want to make sure that swamp's still on the bottom. 
man, what a what a clear rules explanation. I got you, fam. That's normally my job. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean to step on any toes back here. Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> you <laughs> just <laughs> did. You, <laughs> you <laughs> did that my job. <laughs> Look, man, you're a little slow on the uptake. I, uh, yeah, I was tonight. You're right. I'm, I'm, I'm failing everybody out there. John's wonderful. I mean, all right. You're not wrong. So he's got an attack for one. He's got a bitter ordeal in hand as well. So he is heartless summoning plus mirror, mirror retriever, retriever away from winning the game. I wonder if he has a like dark petition in this deck. Probably not. I don't think he anticipates getting to five. I mean, obviously, we would love to be all be able to put three card combos together on turn three, but like, you don't you don't put a five mana sorcery in your deck just in case you draw a third of the lands in your deck. What is so if he has dark petition? cast all the cards in the combo. It does, but it also costs five mana, which is a lot in modern. I agree, but you have this infinite blocking engine. You've got a simian spirit guide to speed you up a turn. I just don't think there's more than 18 lands in the sack. Yeah, I'm wondering if you could replace like mana morphos with talisman of black red. And and, ca and cast a dark petition for more consistency. It's an option. Here we now, RJ has gotten two five mana every game. So maybe he has more lands in there than I think. Right. Victor bringing in the young pyromancer like he does every sideboarding session. <laughs> He's a fan of the PZ. Good, bad, or indifferent. To be fair, it's good here. Is it good here? Yeah. Produces Anything that gives it. you a clock is good here. Yeah. Here's a pretty sizable clock, I guess. If he's got a death shadow here, that'll be a pretty sizable clock. That thing's a 5-5 five, five here. Yep. And Looks he like does. he's got one. I think I'll be content uh, cantripping a little bit more. Let's draw this one. Oh, it's a thought seize. Yeah, why? I mean, why would we try and win the game if we can draw more cards? Spoken like a true blue player, um, we definitely run out the death shadow here. Well, he's got an opt first. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, uh... Oh! <laughs> By all means. By all means, thought seize. I'm just going to take the bitter ordeal. Well, maybe he won't. So if he takes right. the Mirror Superion, when the Retriever blocks, it'll just get back the Mirror Superion. Right. Which doesn't do anything. Do you think he casts the Optus turn? Uh, Probably on RJ's turn. Sure. Here's another... Another land, wow. Yeah, getting him to five mana. And he's got two spells in the graveyard, so this Dark Petition would... <laughs> Cast all of the combo pieces. He needs two combo pieces. He needs two of them. Maybe you should just play Liliana Vess. <laughs> also costs five, and you can tutor for both of the combo pieces. Sure. On consecutive turns. I think if you get to five mana, though, you want to go off that turn. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't do it here. Correct. Which member? This one. This member. You're going to pay four life. The and old team or battle rage. Team That'll or battle do battle rage to get them all. Well Such done, a Victor. shame. Shortest path to victory. I'm proud of you. Too bad we didn't get to see this Heartless Summoning deck go off. I was really excited about it. I think it's a great concept. I love the infinite blocking mirror, superior, or mirror retrievers. Yeah. I think there's some value there. Can you imagine infant blockers against the uh, like a Boggles deck? Like they have oh, Rancor sure. to get through you, and that's it. 
I mean, they can also, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Um, Titan Master says Faithless Looting needs to be in this deck. I agree with that. Oh, that's a good good, good call. Do you, you like that over a... Dark Petition? Yes, I would probably play that before Dark Petition. Me too. I just came up like, Dark Petition was the one that snapped to mind. I got you. And then I defended it to the death. <laughs> <laughs> I defended it to the death. How about Read the Bones? You want to read the bones? Negative. Let's read some bones, no, bro. No, See, I like Faithless Looting because discarding Mirror Retriever isn't bad. Yeah, it, if you have a second one, it's basically free. Right. Or really any artifact, for that matter. Sure, then Talisman fits into this plan as well. I don't know that we want a Talisman in this deck, but you know what? I'll give it to you. All right. We got about 10, 15 minutes here. Don't go far. Yeah, we're going to have our fi fourth and final round. We've had three really interesting ones. Yes, concur. Maybe not interesting matches, but some interesting decks. Yeah, yeah, it's been the night of an interesting deck. It's been an interesting night. So let's find another interesting one for the fourth and final round. Uh, we'll see you guys here soon.